Oppenheimer, the black man's movie guide. I love it when the Hollywood movie machine put out big budget movies calling out America on its own bullshit from the past. Oppenheimer was released in theaters on July 21st, 2023, rated R, clocked in at an even three hours, directed by Christopher Nolan. This movie features a lot of random white actors that you might recognize on site from other Christopher Nolan movies, but the main two stars are Robert Downey Jr., Tony Stark himself, and Cillian Murphy. Cillian Murphy was popular on the series Peaky Binders. Never watched one episode, never will. Way too white for me. But if you saw Batman Begins, then you would recognize him as Scarecrow. I've been hearing about the atomic bomb since I was a little boy back in the 1980s. My old man had books on that kind of info. Reader's Digest, Isaac Asimov, all them damn Time magazines, I'd skim through them. But mainly what I know is the connection between the Manhattan Project and the University of Chicago, which I lived about 20 minutes from on the southeast side of Chicago. They mentioned University of Chicago in Oppenheimer. I also saw a movie called Fat Man and Little Boy back in the 80s because I I wanted to know what the hell the movie had to do with a fat man and a little boy. Come to find out it was all about the damn atomic bomb. But it was something about this one though, Oppenheimer. Maybe the marketing of the subject matter and that I knew that Christopher Nolan wasn't going to be playing with it. Yeah, I was looking forward to watching this one and picking it apart. The plot, short version. The United Snakes of America got Oppenheimer to get a crew together to create the atomic bomb or the Manhattan Project. He did it. It worked. Then they decided that they wanted to blame him from all the bad that came with it. The whole hide in the hand throwing a rock thing. Somebody would throw a rock and it hot the hand and I was like, who did that? I didn't do that. Did you do that? Yeah, America has been on bullshit. And these are the movies that I really like when critically white directors are calling out America on its historical factual bullshit. This movie jumps around a lot in the timeline, so you gotta pay attention to the color changes from black and white to color, how the characters are aging, jumping back and forth, dope. The scene when they finally do the initial test for the bomb out in the desert was dope because they had no idea what the hell was actually gonna happen. Just the build up to all of that to that point was dope. Side Bar. History or his story will try to act like wasn't no black people in the room during these historical moments dealing with world changing events unless we had a damn mop or a broom in our hands. Well Oppenheimer shows you that we were there. Trust when I say I'm always looking. They showed their sister real quick, don't know who she was cause they didn't volunteer that info but she was in the room with a bunch of white physicists. I'm just saying, this was like 1939. Then they showed this brother. He was in the Chicago scene at UFC. Didn't say who he was, but he was in the room with a bunch of white physicists. I'm just saying, a lot of heavy scenes. Every scene with Oppenheimer is sitting in front of this board or committee that was really at him about being a fake communist on the low. More than the fact that he made the bomb that they contracted him out to do, those were heavy scenes. All the relationships with the women in his life, those were heavy and complicated, but they were real. Though. That thing that Oppenheimer had between him and his dip Jean, who was played by Florence Pugh, that was super heavy and real. Heavy scene between the two of them. He tells her that he doesn't know what she wants from him. She says that she doesn't want nothing. Then why you keep calling? Then stop answering. I'm gonna keep answering. Wow. See what I'm saying though? Spoiler alert. It's two other scenes when Opp and Jean are having a deep convo in a hotel room after the fact with no clothes on. I could see that happening. And the viewpoint that his wife had while he was getting 3D'd by that board because he had to describe that moment, wow. How him and I think his second wife came together played by Emily Blunt, that was heavy. Start me out real quick. The man had to give away his newborn baby to friends of the family because all of the crying from the baby was causing his wife to go batshit. But when it came time for the credits of the movie to roll, she was right there with him. Come on, come on. The score to this movie is dope. Created by Ludwig Johansson. He scored the first two Black Panther movies, the first two Creed movies, but every time Oppenheimer had a moment, you'd kind of hear his theme music. That theme music was dope as hell. Somebody might make a track out of that. Spoiler alert! And everybody winds up having to rat this dude out at the end of the movie. I mean all of his folk. I mean all of his people. 
Failed to mention, I'm gonna open up my nerd bag and run down these extra actors in Oppenheim. Josh Hartnett, hadn't seen him in a while. Tony Goldwyn, Kenneth Branagh, Casey Affleck. I have never liked Casey Affleck's face. Dude that played the new Han Solo, Gary Oldman, Jason Clark. Jason Clark, that dude's character was a government asshole for the American flag. Matthew Modine, Rami Malik, and once again, Robert Downey Jr. Any thoughts that I may have had about Robert Downey Jr. being stuck in his Tony Stark Iron Man shadow got completely thrown out the window after I got done watching this movie. There was nothing cool about that character. Admiral Strauss, not Strauss. That cat was skeevy. Robert Downey Jr. did a great job. In conclusion, I'm going to do my best to keep this narrow. The United States was conceived and built on a foundation of trash. 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 Build on the landfill, the ground still stinks. You can remove the headstones, but the graves are still there. The soil is rotten. You son of a bitch, you left the bodies and you only moved the headstones! <laughs> you can't keep screwing the world over, minding everyone else's business, looking in folk window, and not expect that they ain't gonna be some kind of get back. And I'm talking about folk from over there and from your flag waving, love it or leave it on homegrown folk. Goddamn flag. Do you know that's the reason why I have always said fuck the Chicago Cubs? Real talk, those colors. Same royal blue as that damn flag. Nope. Same red. Nope. And I absolutely hate royal blue i always have only navy blue or midnight blue because they are the closest color to black that's the reason why i've always worn the chicago white Sox brand because ain't nothing no more anti red white and blue than black white and gray go fuck yourself and tread on that this movie is a three hour chapter of the book just one chapter of how fucked up this country is and how it keeps justifying its own terroristic tactics across the globe and right here and for what to pay too much for for a nicer car and a $600 piece of steak? The fuck out of here. And for me, coming from a direct descendant of slaves, just three generations back, this country ain't shit unless you want a new, bigger TV and collect a bunch of unnecessary debt. The Honorable Elijah Muhammad says it. The Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan said it. Minister Malcolm has said it. Jeremiah Wright has said it. That this country be damned until it does right by us. Not God bless America. God damn America. That's in the Bible. It's asked for forgiveness for World War II for dropping the bomb on Hiroshima, but still can't square up with me and mine for hundreds of years of free slave labor. Really fam, my cousin Sebastian keeps telling me about these chickens coming home to roost. White man's ass is in trouble. That's why I keep talking about the chickens have come home to roost. Minister Malcolm said the exact same thing. And I believe it too. And look at the weather. I don't believe that you could keep blowing up these bombs, testing them out in the middle of nowhere, and not expect some type of damage to the atmosphere. 70 degree February days in 2024, and three tornadoes spotted over Gary, Indiana. It's consequences for all of that. Maybe the world, nope, the world knows. Maybe some of y'all will start paying more attention to what's really going on when more important white folks start calling out America with more important facts. More movies like this or more movies like Birth of a Nation. Judas and the Black Messiah. Okay, maybe you want to keep your truth white. Platoon, JFK. Man, Oliver Stone was on a roll for a minute. And even then, shut the yeah, let me chill out. On another personal note, it was something about the Robert Oppenheimer character in this movie that I found relatable. Characters like Robert Oppenheimer, characters like Leo DiCaprio played as Howard Hughes in The Aviator. Howard Hughes and that movie is number one on my movie list. Russell Crowe's character as that whacked out mathematician in A Beautiful Mind. Jamie Foxx as Ray Charles. Any movie where you have a creative dude or a smart dude, kind of socially off, socially awkward, that's in conflict with his genetics, chemical imbalances, political and spiritual beliefs, their talents, throw in some family drama dynamics, and all of them are meeting in conflict at the crossroads. Damn. Look, this was a great goddamn movie. Great story, great camera work, quick edits, kept my attention. As of right now, I've probably watched this movie seven times just to make sure that I could get my notes right. I keep seeing different stuff, and movies like this, I'm gonna keep seeing different stuff. This movie kind of reached out to me when I first saw the trailer in 2023. I listened, and I'm glad I watched it. Like, love, hate, or debate. I loved it. Damn. How many black fists am I going to give this one? This movie will get four and a half out of five black fists. The only movie that will ever get five black fists is The Godfather. Maybe The Aviator. Come on, come on.
that's it all right people let's put a bow on this one because it is officially a wrap please like share subscribe and whatever it is whatever you think comment below and let a brother know and i will holla black in a few ticks in a minute people